What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. I am The Hobbyist and today is part two of our Axial SCX 10.3 build series and today we are going to be building bag A which are the portal axles for this kit. So I'm going to go through everything that's in the bag, what tools you're going to need to complete and I'm going to let you know anything to look out for on the way. So let's get right into it. Alright, so let's open up the bag and see what all is inside. So here is your rear axle, um, yep it is portal, has the diff cover already on it, but that is removable, I like that. So next up we've got the front axles, here are your steering portal boxes. It also comes with four portal covers, two for front, two for rear. So keep that in mind, they are different. Comes with some liquids. You've got black grease and thread locker. The other two portal covers. And here is a bag of all your bearings and gears. So opening this up real quick. Bag A3 is your bearings. Bag A1 is your gears. Bag A2 is your drive shafts. And finally, bag A4 is your screws. So, let's start building these. The tools you will need to complete this step in the process is a 1.5 and 2 millimeter hex tool, a T wrench, and a pair of needle nose pliers might be helpful. So let's start assembly. All right, so in order to build the first differential, you're going to need the diff locker itself, spider gear, or correction, ring gear, these two bearings here, which are the larger of the open sides bearings, and you need six of the shorter button head screws. So the first thing that you're going to do is simply plop that on top like so, and then you are going to take all six screws and put some thread lock on them and screw them all in. After you've got all six bolts securely screwed in there with your thread locker, you're just going to take one bearing and put them on each side. So pop that one on like that, and it just fell off gun, and pop the other one on the other side. Might take a little bit of force, make sure that your bearing is going on evenly, and just slowly press down. All right, that one went on, get that other one back on. All right, so now you've built your locked differential. So now we're gonna move on to assembling it into the axle. One note I do wanna say though, is to put some black grease onto these bearings since they aren't sealed. So once you have your black grease inside your open cell bearings, the next thing that you're going to do is start with the front portal axle and take these two bearings here, match them up to your instruction manual and make sure you get the size right but you're gonna put them inside like this. Keep in mind one is bigger than the other. When installing these bearings, the bigger one goes on the inside. So drop it in, press it in like that, hold it and flip it around, pop in your smaller bearing on the other side, and you're good to go. So next, you're going to take this gear right here, your diff pinion, and slide that in like that. You should make sure 
that it all spins very nice and freely. And then you are going to take your differential, making special note that the ring gear is facing towards this side of the axle, and you're going to drop it in. Now, push them together, make sure they all spin freely, and if they do, that's great. Now you're going to take your blast, black grease and grease up these gears so that they're nice and smooth. Now that you've got your gears nice and greased and moving freely, what you're going to do is take the cover, place it down, make sure that the symbol, the part with the axial symbol on it goes over the ring gear. And see if we can get that popped into place. Once you've gotten to the point where the cover is about this far away from the case, what you're going to do is take the four of the longest button head screws, these are two millimeter size hex, put them in and screw them into the case and that'll tighten them up. Make sure not to over tighten and also do not use thread lock, this is going into plastic. I recommend as you screw them in, you are going to hear some clicking and that's going to be the screws threading themselves into this plastic, I recommend you kind of go around in a circle so that you screw it in evenly so that nothing gets caught up. Once you have it nicely tightened, you'll know if you did everything right, if you can turn this nice and freely. And if it does, congratulations, you're good to go. The next step for us will be assembling the steering portal boxes. So let's get the parts ready for that step. All right, so to build the steering portal, what you're gonna want is obviously the portal case and the portal cover. Very important note, right down here, the front portal covers have the number one on them and the rears have the number two on them. Make sure you have the one that says number one. Next, you're going to take one small gear and one large gear. You're going to have two of these five by 11 by four millimeter bearings, one, five by 13 by four millimeter bearing and one 10 by 15 by four millimeter bearing. You're also going to need four of the 10 millimeter button head screws. They are also two millimeter hex, one pin and this, which I don't really know what to call it, half shaft maybe. So the first thing that you're gonna start out doing is you're first going to install the bearings. So you're going to wanna take one of the smaller bearings and pop it in like that. And you're going to take the large, largest bearing and try and put it in as best you can like that. It has to go in straight, otherwise you're not going to be able to line it up right. This is where needle nose pliers may come in handy. In fact, I'm going to have to use them myself. There we go. Oh, I made so much. Things so much more easier. All right, next you're going to take the half shaft, which is this right here, put the pin through it in the hole that's further back from the thread and place it into this hole right here. And then you're going to slip the larger steel gear over it. Make sure it lines up with the pin. Very nice. All right, and then after that, we're going to take the cover, put the smaller bearing on top this time, and the larger bearing in the bottom. Just like that. Now you're going to take this smaller gear and kind of just seat it in there, try and get it aligned with the bearing as best you can. There's nothing that this connects into at the moment. This is going to go into the half shaft in a minute. So now we're going to slide the covers over like that, all right? Now you're going to take the four screws and screw them in, make sure, making sure to go around the edges and do a little bit at a time. Do not use thread lock for this part either. They are plastic threads. Don't forget to put black grease in these gears as well.
All right, so that's the first one built. So I'm going to build up the second one. It's the same exact steps. Just make sure to remember that you have the cover that says the number one on it. But other than that, we're going to build up the second one and then I'll put you guys back on. All right, now that you've built your second steering portal box, the next thing that you're going to do is put them onto the axle. So for that, you are going to need for the kingpin bolts right here. These are also two millimeter, I believe. A two millimeter hex, not two millimeters in diameter. Next, you're going to be taking two of the five by 11 by four millimeter ball bearings, and you're going to need the universal drive shafts. It's very clear which one goes in which because uh, they're such different lengths. So, very simple. What you do is you slide. First of all, you put a bearing in. Let's not forget that step. Going in like that. Then you slide in the axle shaft. It should seat itself in the diff. If it doesn't right away, then just kind of wiggle it around until it does. Then you want to line up the little part of the universal with the top gear in the portal. Once that's seated in, then everything should line up. And oh, my bearing popped out. There, all lined up, and now it's all together. So now you take the kingpins, get them lined up in there, and simply screw them in. And that is all you have to do for both sides. So I'm going to finish getting them both installed, and we'll, then we'll move on to building the rear axle. All right, with the front axle finished, time to move on to the rear axle. Uh, not going to show all of it because a lot of it is exactly the same. So do the same exact thing with the differential, with your ring, your locker, your six bolts. Don't forget to get all your bearings in. And once we move on to the portal boxes, that's where it gets a little bit different. So I'll pick you guys up when I get to that point. All right, now that I've got the rear axle's differential in, moving nice and smooth, now it's time to move on to the portals. So if you follow the other directions correctly, you should have some portal covers that say the number two on them. If so, good job. So the first thing that you're going to do is gather your bearings. And there are only these bearings left. So those are the ones you are going to use. So you have four of these smaller bearings. And then you're going to have two of the larger ones. You're also going to need both of your remaining pins, all of your remaining screws, your axle shafts and half shafts, and your last portal gears. So this should use up everything in your bag. If you have something extra, then you missed something somewhere. So first you're going to put in the bearings, which you put two of the smaller ones in the inside of the axle. like that. Then you're going to take the half shaft, put a pin in it like that, slide the larger gear over, get it lined up, put that in. Now, before you go any further, what you're going to do is now slide this drive shaft or axle shaft, whatever you want to call it, in through this bearing and get it seated in the differential like that. Now you're going to want to take some black grease, and what I prefer to do is kind of take this gear out, take some black grease and just pour it all over these gears, get a nice coating all the way around like that. Set this back in, take one of the smaller portal gears, get that lined up like that. All right, now you're going to rotate the gears to get a nice coating of grease all throughout. Just caught a mistake. Do not actually put a bearing onto this area here. There is an area for a bearing, but don't put a bearing there. There's not supposed to be one. So 
put that back on. Get it seated back in the diff. All right, and that's correct. There. And then you take the bearing that you just took out of there, and it'll go into your portal covers, just like that. As for the portal covers, you're going to take one large bearing and one small bearing, pop it in, and put it over. With your gears greased and your bearings in your portal covers, you are now good to slide the covers on and screw them in. Once you've screwed everything in, it should look something like that. Make sure you turn, make sure everything operates nice and smoothly. So now, you just gotta do it to the other side. So I'll do that and put you guys back on once I finished. If you made it this far in the video, congratulations. You have now successfully completed the construction of your Axial SEX 103 portal axles. So, in the next video of this series, I'm gonna be building the shocks, so stay tuned for that. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on it. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.